All right, hello friends. I've been meaning to film this kind of video for weeks now. Um, it's, what day is it? It's uh, July 16th, it's a Thursday, and it's almost 1 p.m. And I've decided that between now and tomorrow at 1 p.m., so for the next 24 hours, I'm gonna try and read as much as I can. This month I've been doing a 30 day book binge, which was started by the book rat Misty. I'll link one of her videos about it down below. It's just like, the idea behind it though is just like you read something every day for 30 days and it like helps you build the habit of reading again. This has really helped me in the past and uh, it was going pretty well at first, but the last two days I haven't read anything. So I wanna try and get back into it. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna go because um, one, I'm gonna sleep and two, I'm probably also gonna nap because I am so groggy today and I'm very congested. I think it's just like a high allergy day or something. I don't know what's going on, but I'm very congested. So if I sound a little weird, I'm sorry. <laughs> but we're gonna try and do this today. Um, I have no real idea what I'm gonna read. I'm in the middle of A Phoenix First Must Burn, which is actually over by my bed, but I have the dust jacket here. Um, I'm like 100 pages into this I think and I've liked all the stories so far I haven't like super loved any of them, but I've really enjoyed them um, So I'm probably gonna continue with this today as for what else I'm gonna read. I don't really know. I have uh, Two romance arcs one of which came out at the beginning of the one month and one which comes out at the end So I should probably try and get to one of those and then to break it up I'll probably read poetry and then also and then Brie and I, along with her boyfriend Justin and our friends Haley and Alex, have started a Minecraft world together because that's what our brains needed, apparently. <laughs> so I might end up playing some Minecraft while I listen to an audiobook. That sounds cool. Um, we'll see. I might end up playing Minecraft while I talk to my friends. That would also be cool. So this is a very low, low... I don't know what to say, like low pressure, I guess, idea. Like obviously I'm gonna try and read as much as I can for the next 24 hours, but I'm also not gonna try and push myself too hard because my brain has been struggling. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Um, I also, for a few days this month, forgot to take my antidepressants, so that has not been helping me, but you know, I'm remembering again. It's all good, <laughs> it's all good. Take your meds, people. If you haven't taken your meds yet today, and you should have stopped this video, I can wait, go take your medicine, okay? Like, mental health is important, medicine is important. Anyway, I'm gonna try and read today. We'll see how it goes. Hello, friends. An update. It is now almost 8 p.m. I have read some, which is, you know, impressive. I was listening to an audiobook as I did stuff, but then I had a, a grocery delivery, and I fell down a huge hole, so you know. But I was listening to the audiobook of uh, an elderly lady is up to no good on Scribd, and I have the physical copy here, and I'm like, is that far through it? Not. I read like the first. I well, I listened to the first story, which I've actually read that before. But for some reason, when I was on Scribd, I saw the audiobook pop up, and I was like, yeah, that's what I want to listen to while I while I do things. So I listened to some of that. I didn't listen very long. I think I listened like. 40 minutes or something, it wasn't long, but I'm about to shut my computer and try and actually sit down and read. So, speaking of that, I'm gonna try and finish uh, An Elderly Lady is Up to No Good, and then I'm gonna try and read at least, like, two more stories in A Phoenix First Must Burn. Um, I think that's my goal. And then I wanna read, like, at least one comic book to just try and, like, get, you know, momentum or whatever. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know how well it's gonna go, but we'll see. And then tomorrow in the morning, Shannon is stopping by so I can long distance say goodbye to her dog, which is probably one of the saddest sentences I have ever said out loud. So that's fun. But yeah, and I'm, I'm already getting like emotional just thinking about it. So that's gonna be fun. I'm not an emotional person, but apparently if there's a dog involved, I am, so. I read a book and my eyes are burning a little now because I'm not used to reading, even though I was reading on my Kindle and I made the words like as big as I could the font. Um, my eyes are still not super happy about it. But anyway, I just filmed a whole clip talking about the book I just finished, but I actually think I'm gonna make it a separate review video, which I don't think I've ever successfully filmed and uploaded 
a review video, but I'm hopeful for this one because I just, I just did it basically. So I just want to try and do it looking a little less dead. <laughs> so I'm going to try and film that and put it up. But now to add to this video, um, yeah, so I did finally read something. It's uh, 10 p.m. at night now, but I finished a book. Yeah, it was a... Uh, Gifting Me to His Best Friend by Katie Roberts, my first Katie Roberts book. Um, she definitely writes uh, more erotica than romance, I would say. Although to me, erotica tends to mean like not just like the sex levels, because like romance can be real sex, have a lot of sex in it. Uh, erotica more means to me like the, it's more of a happy for now than a happily ever after. Um, and if you're not a romance person, that might not make sense to you, but you know. I, I really need to just make a video starting to explain like all the romance things so anyone that ever comes to our channel and is like what are you talking about um, but thankfully there are more and more romance booktubers all the time and I love all of you if you are a romance booktuber please let me know I am always up for more romance people to follow and talk about books with anyway so finish that book by Kitty Roberts definitely will be picking up more by hers I think I already own the first book in the wicked villains series I think that's what it's called the like kink club with the Disney villains whatever it's called um, and I don't own the first one in the taboo series which keeps me to his best friend and it's the second one in but I definitely am gonna buy the first one I think it's called like your dad will do like okay chill now so just to give you a brief synopsis gifting me to his best friend I feel like is self-explanatory in the title and is also the reason why I requested an arc of it from uh, Katie Roberts when she put up like an arc form thing. I was like no this is like exactly what I want please give it to me. It's a male male female romance book they're like in a cabin it's like a Christmas novella getaway thing. It's probably not novella length it's it's not that short it took me like an hour and a half to read so it's not that short um, but it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I loved all the characters. I even remember their names, which is amazing. I finished it like half an hour ago and I can still tell you that the names were Grayson, Emma, and Derek, which is unusual for me. Names are not my strong suit, especially in, uh, something that's in first person. Although I've realized I don't mind romance in first person as much as I do other things in first person. I don't know why, but hopefully tomorrow I can film, um... A full review of that book and have it up um, probably beginning of next week I'm probably gonna put this vlog up pretty just like immediate because I don't have anything else to put up this week and we missed last week and Bree still's not feeling great and I'm really not feeling great either but you know gotta do something with our lives um, and reading does help me feel better like mental health wise so that is good um, yeah, so hopefully I will have a review of it up next week. It will be linked once it is up. Um, and I will say it comes out July 30th. Uh, Gift Me to His Best Friend by Katie Roberts. Highly recommend IU Festers. Hello. It is morning now. It's 11.30 and I have not read anything else. I probably will not read anything else before Shannon and Ripley get here. So I might end up extending this a little. It might be more like a 28 or 30 hour reading thing than 24 because 24 will be 1 p.m. and I think Shannon and Ripley are gonna get here at 12 so they're probably still gonna be here by 1 if we're gonna go like on a walk and stuff. What is happening with my throat? I've been super congested recently I think just because like allergies and stuff and I don't know what is happening. I guess I haven't I mean I haven't talked much today yet so maybe that's it but anyway so I haven't read anything more yet. I'm probably gonna try and read a little bit before they get here I, oh, I haven't read a graphic novel yet, and I wanted to try and read one of those, so I might try and read one before they get here. If not, I'm going to try and, I guess I'll just extend this until later, like a day and a half. Who's really counting? I mean, it's, it's my reading thing, so I can do whatever I want. Hello, friends. My hair is a little crazy now. We went on a walk with a dog and stuff, so anyway, it's now 2.30. Um, Shannon has come and gone with uh, Ripley and we went on a little walk weird social distancing walk I have to say there's been quite a few things that have been like 
weird that I've done with the pandemic going on, but I have to say what really hammered at home was walking a dog with a glove, with a glove, was walking a dog with gloves and a mask on. That was a weird and unique experience. Not comfortable, not comfortable at all. Your hands sweat in those things. It is muggy as hell out. It was very weird. Is this from, I just realized how red my chin is. I don't think that's from my mask. Anyway, so that happened. I have not read anything else yet. I am hoping to read something else today, but who knows? You know, who, who knows anything? Hello friends, it is an update. So after I filmed that clip, after Shannon and Ripley went, um, I fell asleep. <laughs> so I haven't done any more reading. I'm about to film with Brie though, which is why I keep looking down and waiting for her to pop into the Google Hangout chat. Um, and I'm gonna try and read a story of, from, um, A Phoenix Fires Must Burn. And I realize I haven't talked about this book yet, but I'm going to do that after. Probably, like, in, when I do, like, a little wrap-up section kind of thing. So, that should be fun. Either way, I'm gonna try. Right now I'm on Melly by Justina Ireland. And I haven't read anything by Justina Ireland yet, so I'm very curious. And I've been enjoying all the stories so far, so hopefully I also enjoy this one. I'm sure I will. Hello. It is the next day, and I'm gonna wrap up this reading vlog, which kind of turned into like a 36 hour reading vlog instead of 24, but it happened. Um, I read a little more before and after Brie and I filmed last night, before I had a migraine set in, so that was fun. But um, I did get a lot of reading done, so I did finally read a graphic novel, and it was a reread. I reread uh, Check Please Volume 1, which I have read these freshman and sophomore year so many times. <laughs> I don't even know if I can explain to you how many times I have read this webcomic, but it is a lot. I really love this webcomic. I love all the characters, like obviously Biddy and Jack, but also like I really love the frogs. I don't know what it is about like the frogs dynamic, but I love Dex, Nursey, and Chowder so much. <laughs> so yeah, I reread this. I haven't, I don't think I've reread the first two years since uh, senior year wrapped up, so. It was nice to do that, and now I'm gonna, obviously, continue my reread and finish again this comic, because I love it so much. If you haven't read it, you should definitely check it out. I'll leave links down below to the website and everything where you can read it, but it's amazing. The art style is adorable, like, it's great. I also really just love the hockey shit stuff, like hockey shit with Ransom and Holster. Ransom and Holster are just fucking great characters. They're amazing. I love them so much. Anyway, so I read this last thing, the whole thing, because, you know, sometimes you need to just reread Check, Please. That's what you need in life. I also finished um, An Elderly Lady is Up to No Good by Helene Tur Turston. Helene Turston. I don't know why I stumbled over that, but um, this was also a reread. Um, it's very short. It's not even 200 pages. It's 170 pages and it's a bunch of like interconnected short stories about this like 80 year old woman who is like killing people. <laughs> it sounds really weird when you say it, but like for some reason it's just done so well. Like um, I don't know what it is about it, but I love Maud. She's great. She might like murder people indiscriminately, but you know what? She has her reasons and uh, I mean, the guy that's abusing his wife that she pushes down the stairs, like, you go, Maude, you murder that guy, go for it. Um, besides that, I don't think I read anything else. So yeah, I finished those two last night. Uh, I gave both five stars, they were both rereads, and then the other thing I finished this in this period was uh, Gifting Me to His Best Friend by Katie Roberts, which I have talked about and I have a review for, hopefully coming out soon. Um, it comes out on July 30th, I highly recommend it. Um, if you like smutty stuff, if you don't, probably not for you, but if you like smut and romance, definitely recommend this book. Um, the one thing I did need to get to that I didn't really read any more of was um, A Phoenix First Must Burn. I didn't read any more of this collection. I'm still like 100 pages in. Um, I've been really enjoying this collection. I've been writing down my uh, star ratings for each story. You kind of can't see that been writing down my star rating for each story because sometimes I just forget which story was which because you know memory who has that but yeah I'm hoping to read more of this this weekend and then 
yeah, I think that's it. Um, if you've read any of this, let me know. If you are also a Check Please fan, let me know who your favorite character is in the comments down below because, like, just talk to me about some, uh, some hockey nonsense. Yeah. I love this comic. I love all these characters. I'm gonna miss them so much. I want a spinoff of, uh... Ransom and Holster and Shitty and Lardo in uh, House 2.0 and then I want to see the frogs graduate. Man, the frogs, they have so many issues but I love them so much and the tadpoles. Man, this the series is great. The characters in it are amazing. Um, just so great. I want to see Chowder join the NHL but still fangirl over Jack. It's just like I love him so much. Anyway. Um, that is what I ended up reading. Sorry if you can, um, oh, if you've been able to hear my AC in the background during most of these clips, I'm sorry about that, but it has been hot and then 60 degrees and then today it's 90 degrees, so I don't really know what's been going on, but, um, it's mostly been on, except for when it was 60 degrees, I still don't understand. Anyway, um, I'm sorry if that's like annoying in the background. I don't think it's that bad. I normally turn it off when Brie and I film just so it's like less stuff going on, but whatever. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great July. I hope you're being safe. Wear a mask, wash your hands. Life before death radiance. Some days are lonely and you don't know where to start.